Mm, this feels really weird. Hey everyone, so welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about some random things. I felt like making a video today because I'm about to leave and I just got breakfast with my friends and it was really really yummy but before I'm about to leave I just felt like I should just film a video really quick. So this is kind of an impromptu video but why not? I got some requests for this video like a little while ago and I figured I will just do it because it, it's been a while and I don't know when I'll ever get to it so why not now? So today- oh god, I'm knocking things over. <laughs> today I'm gonna be talking about what's in my pencil case. You guys have probably seen my pencil case in a few of my videos. This is the pencil case that I carry around to me to every single class and just even when I'm outside of class. This is what has almost everything that I need for like a typical day to day. And it's taken me a while to finally like compile like a good amount of everything so I figured I'd share it with you guys because this took me a while to like figure out everything I need. The only thing I'm missing is a tiny ruler, which really sucks. I'm working on it. I'm looking for one. I will probably get one really soon because I'm going to New York really soon. So I'll probably get one there. This is my pencil case. It's my essentials. And I mean, it doesn't have everything because obviously I wouldn't be able to fit everything I need for art school into this. Most of my classes are divided by pencil cases, but this one's the one that goes with me to everything because it's also what I use for, for my journal. So it just kind of goes with everything. Let's just start with what's in here. So this is the outside of it. As you can see, it's very, very basic. I've been looking for a better pencil case for a while actually, but I haven't been able to find one, which really sucks. So this is what I'm stuck with. This is a sheep. Um, it's really dirty now because it's gone It's gone through a lot. But let's just open it. This is one of those pencil cases that has a little flap part right here, which I really, really like. And I've been looking for that in another pencil case and I haven't really been able to find one, which is why I haven't transferred, why I haven't like gotten a new pencil case yet because I'm kind of picky. In my pencil case, when you open it, the first thing you have is like this top part. And the first thing I have are these three cat pens. And I really love these cat pens because they're super cheap. I get them on Amazon. I don't actually know exactly what you'd have to look up. You could probably just look up cat pens and they'll come up. I have these three and they are they come in like sets of like eight or something. And they're super, super nice because they write super nicely. And they have like this, this tip. I don't know. This is really common in like Asian pens. I use these to journal actually, so I've been using these to journal since I started this current journal that I have, which has been, I don't know, like eight months in the making, so yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. These are just the pens that I, I typically use, and I have three of them because I lose them a lot, but since they're so cheap, it doesn't really matter, and also I use them up super quickly. So after these little cat pens, I have these three glitter pens. Last semester for my design final, I was doing a lot of planning with markers and stuff because I was trying to design my dollhouse, which if you haven't seen it, I actually made a video about my design final from last semester if you want to see, I'll link it. As you can see, these are just three glitter pens and they're pretty basic. They're jelly roll. I really like them. I really love glitter pens. So I have these in like the three primary colors. I mean, pink technically isn't a primary color, but it's also a lighter version of red, which is a primary color. So, you know, I have these three glitter pens just for like when I want to like make something look a little nicer. I use a glitter pen and it usually does the trick. I really like these glitter pens. They work super well and I really haven't had a problem with jelly roll. I've been using them since I was a kid, so yeah. So after this little section of glitter pens, I have this down here. I have these little, like this one's a zipper pull from a TV show I used to watch a lot when I was a kid and I liked it a lot. And then these are just like two pins that I put on here like a long time ago. And then in here, I have a memo pad. I really like memo paper because they're just like cute little like sheets of paper and there's multiples. So this one has a set of two. As you can see, there's like two different designs. One is horizontal and then one is vertical, which is really nice. I have so many memo pads. Like I have a whole box of them in my room, but this is just the one that I've been carrying around lately because I don't know, this is the one I've been using. I don't really have a preference because I like all of the ones that I own. So I kind of switch them out pretty regularly. But sometimes when you need like, a little sheet of paper or something or like a scrap piece of paper to write something or whatever uh it's just nice to have you know something in your bag so yeah this is what i carry around along with that i have a tiny little pencil it's super small but i really like it i got this in morning glory in new york i actually i think i talked about it in my haul too that i'll link i did a haul video from last time i went to new york but it's super nice it's like it's a oto sharp pencil not really sure but as you can see it's like super duper thin which is really nice for me because i like really thin pencils because 
I don't know, it's my preference. And it looks like a normal pencil, it's just super cute and it's it's good. And it's also mechanical, I don't know if I mentioned that. It is like a mechanical pencil, which is why it's so nice, because it looks like it's not, but it is. I also have another one in my pencil case. Like I said, I have the one right here, right, with like my memo pad, but then if you look down here on this other side of this little flippy thing, I also have another pencil and it is, it's just the same one, so. And then like I said, I like having scrap pieces of paper on me. And one thing that was really important for me when finding a pencil case was somewhere where you can keep like little memo pads or things like that. So on this side right here, I have two more memo pads. The one on the bottom is actually a sticky note, so it's not a memo pad, it's a set of sticky notes. And this is a Rilakkuma Cat sticky note set. So when you open it up, this is a pad of its own, and then this one's also a sticky note pad, and they kind of go together, so it just looks really cute, you know? This is just the one that I've been keeping in my pencil case for a while now, because it also kind of matches all my stuff because it's pink, so. And then the other little, like, notepad thing I have is this one. I got this in Japan, I think, or maybe I got it in New York. I think I got this in New York for, like, a while ago. So this is just a, a pad of little paper, but this paper is super thin and delicate which is really nice and it, I don't know what kind of paper this is but it just feels really nice. Pens bleed through it really easily so whatever you write on it has to be really delicate but I think it just looks so nice when the paper is also super thin. So I do have like three different kinds of paper in my pencil case. You know, each situation needs a different kind of paper so it's necessary. We are on to the next side of this little flippy thing. So I have three mild liners. I have the entire set of mild liners you know like i have like all five packs of mild liners but these three have been my favorite lately and they are primary colors i think i'm actually going to revamp my pencil case really really soon so it's actually good that i'm making this video now because it's probably going to be very different very soon i've had this setup since like the beginning of last semester and i think it's about time that i have a change anyways uh these are the ones that i've been carrying around they're just they're from like a three different packs i think so i don't think you could buy all three of these if you only bought one pack of mild liners you do have to get like different ones and then mix and match if you want all three of these colors they are super nice i love mild liners i use them for everything they're like my ride or die and these three are the primary colors like i said they also match my jelly rolls that i have because i use them a lot where like i write with these and then i outline them with a glitter jelly roll pen and it looks super cute so you know so fancy and i also use them to journal which is why i have these three specific colors and along with this i actually have a separate one that's not in the little like three cubby hole space in the in the little flippy thing because i need this one to journal as well but i don't have space for it so i just throw it in my pencil case Ta -da! so after this, it goes into like my actual huge pencil case section. Now that I'm onto the basic like part of my pencil case, which is just, you know, like this bottom part, I'm gonna stop holding my pencil case up because it's kind of unnecessary now. Like you can tell where everything is. First thing I have is actually makeup. So <laughs> it's technically not like supposed to belong in a pencil case, but I have it just in case. So I have these two eyeliners. They're Sailor Moon eyeliners and they're so cute and I love them. And basically, I have these for makeup retouches, obviously. Also because they look cute in my pencil case, and I kind of wish they were pencils too. So, yeah, I just have these for backup in case, like, my makeup ever smears or something, like, I'm in the rain or whatever. Uh, I use these not super often, but they are still super handy, so I do like having them with me. Also, they're just, like, so cute. Like, these are the cutest things. After that, I have three mechanical pencils that are of the same, like, style, I guess. So these three I got back home in Atlanta a little while ago. So they're just like typical mechanical pencils, but these are really cute. Like this one has a little water drink that I've had in China before where it's like out of a light bulb. It's just like a, a trend. And then this one has like peach juice box. And then this one is the Yakult, which is really cute. So yeah, I just have three mechanical pencils because like obviously you need mechanical pencils. And the tiny one I use, I don't really use to write super often. I use it to, to sketch more, like super loosely. And then I also have one more pencil, which is a new addition, which is this Gudetama one. And I really, really like this pencil just because I like the I like the print on it. The texture of this pencil is different from these because these are more matte and then this one's like shiny. So it just like looks so nice to me. And also I just love the design on it. Like I love this Gudetama, but it's just normal mechanical pencil. I think I use this pencil uh, the most out of all of them just because it's like the best quality one that I own. Then I have this eraser. So I have a Tombow mono eraser and it's like 
a mechanical eraser if that makes sense it's like a mechanical pencil but it's an eraser and it's super fine tipped which is really really nice it's this is really good for like when you're writing a lot of words and then you need to erase like one of the words you have to like use a giant eraser and erase like everything but it's also really nice for drawing and sketching so it's like my go-to thing for sketching it's so necessary and i i i hate drawing without this like i have before and i hate it definitely recommend getting one of these if you haven't and then of course to go along with my pencils i have a mechanical pencil refill this is just like all of the lead that i have it's just a container of lead but it's really cute so yeah, I haven't even gone through this yet because, to be honest, I don't use pencils super often unless I'm sketching. I use pens mostly to write because it's just easier, so yeah. I have one more jelly roll pen just because this one's a lighter shade of pink than the other one. Very specific, I know. I guess I still have this left over from last time? I'm not too sure. I really do need to revamp my pencil case. It's been quite a while. I have this one pen and this is a blue pen. All the other pens are black. This was more useful dropped it <laughs> this was more useful in high school when i had to like help teachers grade papers and stuff and i would need a different colored pen now that i'm in college they're never really like you need a red and blue pen but this is just the one that i had from before so, yeah it has little sharks on them i have this little mechanical color pencil i guess i got this for free at a convention that they had here at RISD at some point it was just like something they had there and i use this to sketch sometimes as like a base tone if i don't feel like using a pencil i'll use a colored pencil it sometimes helps with like concepts and stuff so yeah super nice and then i have this little twin stars pencil looking thing but it's not a pencil it's actually scissors this is one of the best purchases that i've ever bought so how this works is it's compact like this right which is really nice because i hate the way that scissors look in my pencil case because it takes up so much space and it's just ugly so this one you take off the cap and here are the two blades, right? And then there's this little thing on the side and you push up and then when you let go, it'll open and you just use them as scissors. This is obviously not sufficient if you're cutting out like a bunch of things, but sometimes, I don't know, if you have to cut out a super tiny thing or if it's like really impromptu and you need to cut something out, then this is really nice. I don't have a pair of scissors in my book bag. I should actually keep a pair, but I don't. So this is the pair that like I have. I have this other pencil that I just kind of keep because it's really cute. I never really use this, but it has a little bunny on the end and it's mechanical. Like I said, I have this other mild liner that's very important. And then I have two microns. These aren't that cute in my pencil case. I used to wrap microns with washi tape to make them look better because they kind of stand out in my pencil case, but I don't really care anymore at this point. These are both size one, and these are just for like very essential times when I need a micron. Very rarely do I use them right now because I haven't been doing a lot of drawing that requires them. I do love microns a lot and they are like one of my go-to like drawing materials, but I just haven't been using them that much recently. When I do need them, it's just nice to have them in my pencil case just in case. I have this one other highlighter and this is a pink highlighter because the other highlighter I have is red in case I ever need to highlight something pink. This is a Lestilo Fiatre. I don't even know what that means because I haven't taken French in a long time. It's something pen. I don't know what that last word is but anyways um cute pen and it's dual sided so this one i could even write with sometimes which i do and so i really like this highlighter i have a whole set of them actually but the pink one is the one that i've been using currently so yeah i have my white uni ball pen and this is like one of my favorite white pens because it doesn't skip so i've been hoarding these like i have so many of these in my room so i just keep them with me all the time and i have one and then i have an eraser a big one. It's necessary to have a big eraser because sometimes you need a big eraser and the tiny one doesn't suffice. This one is a Muji one and it's a black one and I like the black ones because they don't look dirty after you erase graphite because you know how when you use like a normal eraser and then it gets all like black and stuff like this one you can't tell so it just looks clean all the time. And then what's left over is just random things in my pencil case. I have this Doraemon sticker from like winter break that I just put in my pencil case and I never use. And then I have this heart clip that I, I have like a bunch of in my room. They just kind of float around. And so I guess I have one in my pencil case. And then I have these two, like they're little like charms. And I just, I've had them for a while. I got these in Japan a long time ago, but yeah, they just kind of chill in my pencil case, make it look cute. With that being said, that is everything that lives in my pencil case. Obviously this isn't everything that I own. A lot of stuff you can actually see if I just turn the camera really quick. This is my desk setup, as you can see, and so like a lot of the pencils like reside in these little cups. When I'm at my desk, I have all my materials there with me, but but when I don't, uh, I just take my pencil case with me and that usually suffices for everything I need. 
but yeah this was everything in my pencil case as of right now i'm probably gonna revamp my pencil case really really soon so this will probably all really change yeah but these are my essentials for taking to class and everything like that and I hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah, I have a plane to catch now, so I will see you guys later. So this was everything in my pencil case. I hope this was enjoyable for you guys. I will see you guys when I see you guys because I need to get going. So stay hydrated, take a nap, and I will see you when I see you. Bye!